Oh, well, Ricky, where does that uh, victory rate in terms of the most courageous efforts from your side that you've seen? Yeah, I, I don't know if I've coached many, uh, many more courageous efforts than that. <clears throat> but I must say, we, I have coached a number of them. None, none more courageous, but a, a number of them with a lot of the current players and the squads that I've had here over the last number of years. You know, we, our culture, our culture at this club, um, the way we perform our hard work and the, the care and the camaraderie amongst our players is real. You know, I don't go and read a textbook and then say, OK, well, we've got A, B and C. It is real what you saw there today. The, um, <clears throat> you know, realistically, we had so much go against us today that um, it made the win so much more sweeter. And um, it was a win that uh, any other, any X-rated player that was watching that match would have been so proud of that person in his number. What did you think that what was the biggest thing that went against you? Well, what, what do you? Well, you saw the game. They had 60% of the footy. Um, field position. I, don't, I can't. I can't remember. Sorry, I can't remember a, a good ball set we had in the second half. If we had a couple, maybe. Or I can't remember them. <clears throat> um, with the infringements and penalties, it was 16-6. Um, it's a <coughs> defending with 12 men for so many, so many minutes, and that's not to say Elliot's sin binning weren't sin bins. Um, it was just so much went against us today that um, you have to you have to be a, a committed football team that want to play for each other. Um, I, I said at the start of the year we're building something here, and we are. Did you feel like this week leading into that, off the back of last week, um, you know, you've, you've had the confidence you've always mentioned that you know you, you believe in this squad. Did you feel like there was any moment within the week where? I don't know, something happened within this squad that they had that belief because they're you know, coming into this, coming up against the Roosters, such a daunting task, they're in the, in the top four. Well, I, like I, spoke, I spoke to you before the game and I said last week's win wasn't a big as surprise to me as it was to a lot of other people. Um, I said it to Freddie out on the sideline in his interview. <clears throat> um, you know, it's all, it's all nice talking in hindsight. We, we knew it was going to be a very tough game. I didn't realise that the interpretations of the game was going to be so um, overloaded towards us. Um, but to answer your question, this week, with our preparation and the way the players have bought into what I wanted them to do today, um, because I know how we can beat football teams, certain teams, they bought in and for 20, 20 minutes of that was with 12 men. The defensive display and effort was it was as good as I've coached and um, I was very confident that we could win last week and off the back of that I was very confident that we could win today so it's not such a big a shock to me winning those last two games as it is to a lot of other play people. What the big shock to me is <clears throat> how they put 40 on us in the last game we played against them, how the Cowboys beat us two weeks ago by 30 or what points. That's the, they're the games that shock me. I don't know where it comes from. To see you up pretty nicely for next year, stick like to get two wins like this. I mean, you say they weren't surprises, but for the boys to see, gee, we can be better with the best teams in the competition. You're probably better off. You're probably better off asking them, because for me to answer <coughs> that question, I'm losing a lot of experience again. So I'm going to be filling two more positions, such as Elliot's and and Jordan's, with uh, uh, players with less minutes. So again, it's going to be another tough 12 months. <clears throat> I've got to be very good at what I'm not good at, and that's being patient. And unfortunately, I'm not the best at it. But we've had a vision here as a, a, a club that we have to build a football team to be competitive going into the future. We find it hard to get marquee players, so we're building from the floor, from the from the ground up. And I hope that a lot of people see that we're doing that out there. Um, I'm sorry, how satisfying was it to see that two weeks in a row? Because it hasn't always happened two weeks in a row, and you've knocked off Penrith and Roosters, two premiership contenders, and you won it with nothing but toughness. Yeah, it was no, it wasn't a talent thing. If it, if it was down to talent, they should have beat us by 30. But it was down to it was down to who wanted to work the hardest. Same thing the week before, pretty much. Yep, it is. We we haven't got the class of other teams. Uh, we've got to we've got to we've got to grow the class 
and the marquee player. And I think we've got players there that will one day be those those players playing state of origin international football. Um, and that's where I say I've got to be patient, but it's hard because when you when you're competitive, you want to win each week. But I'll coach that every day of the week. And to answer your question a moment ago, it's better to ask the players because they've got to come to pre-season and they've got to buy in again. How's Jordan Hoffman? Uh, I suppose the dock, he's got a, uh, a fracture to the eye socket, I think it is, or sheep bone. Um, and the nose, broke his nose, so. <clears throat> Potentially the last time we'll see him in a Raiders jersey, do you think? Yeah, absolutely it is. Yeah. How, I mean, how disappointing is that, obviously? Don't be able to send him out. Um. Yeah. Oh, look, it's it's disappointing. You know, we 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 sent both the boys out last week in regards to our home game with Elliot and Jordan. We didn't really know Jordan was going. Um, but we sent Elliot out in a nice way. Jordan didn't get the opportunity the way that Elliot did, um, going off with injury. But I can tell you that he can be very proud to say that he's involved in that game today for some small minutes. Um, and again, you know, we'll, we'll hear about how many injuries the Roosters copped. We'll, you know, you won't, we won't hear through the city media um, that we lost our halfback the session before our, our game. We lost our fullback going into that in what, the first 15 minutes. Um, our players don't get the credit of the, the Sydney media, um, but they get it from me, and that's probably more important. Ricky, I know I'm talking about the Roosters, it looks like Walker might have gone down with an ACL, and straight away I thought about yourself. You know, I don't want to bring back a bad memory, but 93, Canberra was sailing towards the time when you went down, they did win another game. Does that still apply in the modern era, like with halfbacks coming out? And how do you, how do you see the mountain they've got to climb with if that's the case? Well, it comes down to your recruiting. Um, you know, if they've got a player to fall in there that can actually um, fill a position. They've got, they've got that much class, mate. They'll, they'll, they'll find a halfback that can work in with Manu Tedesco. In that forward pack, they'll, they'll find a halfback there. That young Sandon Smith, yeah, uh, I watched him play today. He played well for second grade. He's a very good young half. Um, with the talent around him, mate, he'll, 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 he'll jump at the opportunity, or he should be. Elliot, obviously, Jordan's done so much for his club. I mean, how is that, I guess, to, to lose him before it's sort of his time to finish up? Yeah, definitely, mate. It's like Sticky said, um, you know, I'll be proud of the effort that the boys put in tonight. And, you know, Jordan told us that he was leaving this week and moving over to Super League. And, you know, we, we kind of put um, that win down, down for him and we got the win. And, you know, like I said, he'll be proud, but he'll be disappointed that he couldn't finish the game and, you know, the season the way he wanted to. But, you know, he's been a big part of this club since I've come and he's always give his all every time he crosses over that line. And, you know, he's been a, a great teammate and he's a great mate of mine. So, yeah. Do you have a favourite Jordan Ruffman memory? Oh, there's too many. Um, yeah, there's too many. Elliot, when you hear Ricky talk about the fact that, like, you know, everyone's got to buy in and they've got this, they're building from the from the ground up, obviously you're leaving at the end of the season, but um, what sort of feels does that give to you? I mean, how, how I suppose you're, you're part of that buy-in, you're in that inner sanctum. What What is the future of the Raiders and how lucky are they to be alongside? Oh, uh, look, I think throughout the year they've shown glimpses of what they are capable of doing, obviously more experience, the, the, you know, especially the young spine, they'll learn how to control the games better and, you know, Turn ball over where they need to, um, but you know, they've showed at times how good they can be, and you know it's just getting the more consistency out of them. And you know Sticky's got um, a great coaching team with him, and you know he's got some great players, um, young players coming through, and you know the future is bright for the Raiders, and they've done a great job on recruiting. Just to touch on those symptoms, um, what were your your thoughts. Oh look, I'll, I'll speak about that. Look, obviously, I, I didn't mean to do Brandon. I know he's come up with a bad injury and stuff, and you know I'm sorry to him for for that. Obviously, um, I just want happy the way I went over to ask about Brandon and Trent Robinson's had a go at me. Like, I, like I went to apologise and he's he's turned on me. So, you know, the way he'd done that, I, I thought that were out of order. Um, you know, I don't know what he said in his media if he's done it bef before yet. Um, but yeah, look, I'm, I'm sorry to Brandon and, you know, the other one, I'm not sure if you lot know the rules or I don't know the rules. I just tried stopping an offload. I didn't strike in, 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 in any malice way. And, um, but yeah, whatever. I don't care. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. This year, NRL on 9 is your one-stop shop for all footy. That's right, Freddie. Not about the highlights. Action. Seven days a week. Billy and Gus podcast. Get them on your drive on the way home. Immortal behaviour. Grab a seat on the couch for that. And of course, my favourite, Freddie in the Own. The best footy brains, the biggest games. Don't trust the algorithm. Subscribe to NRL on 9 and get all your entertainment there.